Hey hog fans, welcome back to another episode of Recalling Those Hogs. I'm Haley Kate Webb and I'm here today with former Razorback basketball player Ronnie Brewer. Ronnie, thanks for joining me today. Thanks for having me. Okay, so as a Razorback kid growing up here, what was it like to grow up as a hog fan and have your family in the Razorback Nation? Well, growing up here was great because we moved here in 1990 uh, and around that time Nolan Richards was the coach and he had things really, really rolling. So, you know, Ty Day, Lee Mayberry, Oliver Miller was there. Uh, and after they finished, the, the thing that happened in 94, 95 was, you know, something that you'd never forget. Um, Corliss Williamson came up here uh, and led with Corey Beck to a national, the Arkansas's one and only national championship in basketball. And, you know, that kind of, for me, made me fall in love with the Razorbacks. I didn't really know the history before of my dad because he played before I was born. Um, but watching them with my dad and getting to meet the players is one of the best memories I've had. Is there one player that was your favorite growing up that you <laughs> looked up to, wanted to be like? Yeah, um, I wanted to be like Corliss Williamson, but more like Scotty Thurman. I think a lot of kids around uh, Northwest Arkansas, you know, would try to watch Walt Pigeon Toad and wanted to shoot deep threes and want to be like Al Diller, but it was m mostly Corliss and, and Scotty that we really wanted to be like. Okay, so when it came time for recruitment to college, was there any question that you wanted to go to the Razorbacks? Um, to, to be honest, yeah, because I, I, one of my mentors, he's, he's on that wall over Nick Bradford. He, he graduated here a couple years before I did. Um, he went to the University of Kansas. So he made me become a huge fan of the Kansas Jayhawks and Roy Williams. And I was able to go up there and visit quite a bit. And uh, I was almost going to go there, but he ended up taking a job at North Carolina. Um, and then uh, Stan Heath came in and his staff recruited me more than any school in the United States. And I got a scholarship offer by almost everybody but Duke. So and it was a big deal that his staff spent so much time and made me feel like I was part of the family before I even got here. So once they did that, I knew it was a no brainer that I wanted to follow my dad's footsteps. Well, that's awesome. Is there one memory that stands out as your favorite from your time as a Razorback? Um, probably if I only had to pick one, uh, I think we played uh, the Florida Gators um, when I was here. Um, that day it was, it was snowing and we didn't expect to even play. We thought it was going to be snowed out. Um, but the people who could get around um, Phil Bud Walton and you know, we, we beat a really talented team that went back to back national championships and Joe Kim Noah, Al Horford, Corey Brewer, a lot of guys that, you know, had successful careers in the NBA. So uh, to me, that was the, one of my greatest moments uh, for our team because our backs were kind of against the wall and we needed to beat them and we had to beat Tennessee, we had to beat Alabama uh, to get to the NCAA tournament. So all those teams are ranked and we ended up do, doing it. So it was a really big week for us. That's awesome. Well, you talked Corliss and you talked Scotty a little bit, but what's the scouting report on college Ronnie Brewer? Um, you know, back, <laughs> back then, um, my game was a lot different than how I was in the NBA. I was looking to score a lot. You know, I was looking on to be a leader. Um, and just be like a jack of all trades. You know, Stan Heath wanted me to uh, rebound. He wanted me to assist. He wanted me to defend and get in the passing lanes. Uh, but uh, like, he basically wanted me to do everything I needed to do to win, to help our team win. And that's what I try to do. So, um, you know, that's basically me in a nutshell in college because, you know, he asked a lot of me and I just try to come through for him. Okay. Well, you also mentioned the environment of Bud Walton that season, uh -huh. but you also played in the NBA. So yeah. does any NBA environment, is it competitive with Bud Walton or does Bud Walton Ooh. have them all beat? It's a tough question. Bud Walton to me is one of the premier, you know, basketball arenas in not just college, but in pros. Um, but I, I was blessed enough to be in a situation where like the first team I played for was the Utah Jazz. Um, and if you know a little bit about um, Utah, you know, it's kind of split right down the middle between Utah and BYU. Um, but the only thing that's unified out there is the Utah Jazz. So, you know, the support that they, people gave for Jerry Sloan and we had a really good team, uh, that was probably one of the loudest arenas um, and our, gave us the best home court advantage. Uh, but that's the only thing that can kind of compare to Bud Walton. But I don't think any other arenas in the NBA can compare to Bud Walton. All right. What's the biggest transition from Arkansas to the NBA? biggest transition from Arkansas to um, everybody's good. You know, when you get in the NBA, I think, I think the mindset that people have as fans is, you know, a guy's maybe not a superstar, maybe not a starter, maybe at the end of the bench that, oh, that guy's not that good. 
well, that guy had to be good enough to get drafted. And at some point in time, he was either All-American, All-Conference, All-State or something. Uh, so everybody's really, really good. So the competition level was – it took a step up. Um, I think the speed, I, I think the size of the players um, was a little different. But it was a little bit of transition. But I think, you know, once you make it, you feel like, like you belong there uh, and you work enough to make sure you stay there. Okay. Well, the Razorbacks had an awesome first year under Moss this season. Mm -hmm. What are you looking forward to the most for next season with that team? I'm just surprised. I'm looking forward to all the new guys. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm intrigued about how he goes into the transfer portal, gets some guys. He has a lot of trust in those guys that have, have had some experience. Mm -hmm. But I'm also looking for the young hogs um, who are fresh out of high school to have their first opportunity to play in Bud Walton in front of the fans. Um, and Coach Muss is a great coach, and I think he's going to be very detailed to have those guys prepared. And I think it's going to be a very exciting season for, for the Razorbacks next season. Awesome. I'm looking forward to it as well. Absolutely. Okay, before I let you go, tell me a little bit about what you're doing now, what you're looking okay. forward to, plans for the future. Okay, so uh, what I'm doing now uh, kind of caught me in the middle of it a little bit. I, I do a radio show on uh, every, every Wednesday from 2 to 3. Uh, we're doing some promo things for that with the Power Hour uh, with uh, Aaron Peters and my good friend Wallace Spearman. Uh, I do that. Um, I actually coach here now uh, at Fayetteville uh, and teach, um, but I also do a little re real estate. I have a hair store on College 1680 North College Hair Couture, uh, and I have a trucking company, Brew Crew Transportation. Okay, well, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. I wish you the best of luck with all of that. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much for joining me. If you're a former Razorback and want to be featured and recall your story, reach out to me via the social media and contact information in the description below. Once again, I'm Haley Kate Webb with Ronnie Brewer, and this has been Recalling Those Hogs.